guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a different type of video to usual. We're going to do a um, full face of makeup using just four products. Now I have recently, oh my gosh I can't get comfy today guys, it's boiling hot, I don't know why I'm wearing a hoodie. <laughs> weather and I've been on holiday and I've basically just been hot, too hot for like a full face of makeup. I've been doing more of a very like natural no makeup makeup look if you get me. Sometimes I do just wear no makeup like quite a lot of the time I just wear no makeup like right now. Ow! I also have a really like under the skin spot by there, I don't know if you can see it, it's like you know one of those like volcano ones that are just like you're like oh my gosh where does this stop? Like. It's just under there and it really hurts. Then I also have a crack in the corner of my mouth. It's like when I open it too much, it's like, oh, it re-cracks every time. And then I have little dry patches. My skin is not great at the moment, guys. So, what I was trying to do for summer is have like a bit more of a natural, breathable, no makeup, makeup, natural look, you know? So, I thought I would do my four product makeup look. Now, to be honest, I don't know why I've like challenged myself to do four products in this video. Because recently I feel like I've been doing more like seven or eight products even to get like a more natural look but I feel like some of them aren't really essential and I wanted to kind of nail it down to like the four main products that I need so say if you have like only limited space or whatever you only need to take these four products I think we're gonna give it a go anyway I haven't actually done I've done this makeup look a lot the very natural one but not with necessarily four products anyway let's just get on with the makeup look okay so I'm gonna try and zoom you in a little hey Okay, so we're going to start with a tinted moisturiser. Now, this is my first tinted moisturiser I've ever bought. I bought it two weeks ago, and honestly, I've worn it, like, every day. I was literally shocked at how good this tinted moisturiser is. Now, it is the Laura Mercier one, so it is kind of like a high-end tinted moisturiser, but I wanted to try it out. I'd heard so many good things about it, and it was 100% worth it. Like, you don't need much of it. I put probably a bit more on than I need to because I'm going for like an in-between sort of very bare to like a bit more coverage if you get me. But you don't need much of it at all. I got the lady um, in the shop to match it to my skin colour. It matches perfectly. It's so freaking light because if you've watched any of my um, makeup tutorials before, I use as my foundation the Estee Lauder Double Wear and I'm trying to find other ones because it's that's not like it's quite heavy foundation it's not great for dry skin which is what I've got I'll do it on half my face and then we can compare it before I do the other half honestly none of this is sponsored by the way I, I always just sound like a walking talking advert for every single product that I talk about on this channel and just in life in general because I get very enthusiastic about things Put it in to the skin you'll see like through through it but it evens out all the colors and everything I guess that is the point of a tinted moisturiser. Can you see the difference here? Looking good. So guys, really sadly, I will be probably, well, yes, I will be, going down to one video a week, only for a bit. I will try and, and see, see what happens with my life, but basically me and my boyfriend, we've just got engaged recently. Thank you for all your lovely messages on the last video. Any of you left, lovely congratulations, so thank you. Um, but basically, yeah, we um, are planning to do like a little road trip. We're not sure where we're going to go yet. We're not sure if we're going to do France or what. We want to go somewhere with our puppy. Um, so France is good for road trips with dogs, apparently. Or we might just go somewhere in the UK. But basically, I have a couples channel where we do like vlogs and stuff. And um, we want to go on like a little road trip. And so we'll be doing vlogs throughout the road trip. It's a bit hard to do like sit down videos and stuff whilst you're road tripping slash on the road. So the vlogs, we do two a week over there and I do two videos a week on my channel here. And we're gonna be increasing the vlogs to three times a week and reducing this channel to once a week. Just because for content wise, like it'll just work much better. It's gonna be every Sunday now. There's gonna be no Wednesdays videos, I know. But I will try and make the content extra great on the Sunday, so. Yeah, it won't be for every either. We're only going road tripping for two weeks, so it could literally just be three videos in a row just on a Sunday. Um, and then we'll go from there. Oh, I love that. It 
just like I'm would be more than happy to just I mean I, I'm like I said and most of the time I do wear not most of the time but a lot of the time I wear no makeup but I feel like that really does do something do something very natural but very effective I feel essential product for the start of the face product number two I'm kind of making this up as I go along which isn't really ideal Product number two, I've already got like a moisturiser slash thing on my lips because they're really dry and I've got this dry thing so I keep moisturising them with loads of moisturiser. So that one doesn't count as my what number product for that. Number two, okay let's do eyebrows. We've got to have the eyebrows done. I'm going to go for it. Oh my gosh, this is, this is perfect. <laughs> so this eyebrow pencil is falling to pieces. This eyebrow pencil is... um. One that I've used for so long. It's one ninety nine. It's usually like this long. It's usually about this length, even though I've actually used this one quite a lot too. So this is even shorter than it usually is. Um, it's by W7, and I love it so much. It's probably like not the best. It probably comes off really easily and stuff. But the color match, I just I struggle to find a good color match for my eyebrow. I'm just gonna do a really kind of light eyebrow thing. I feel like when I go too hard with my eyebrows, that's when my makeup look like goes completely wrong. Like if, especially if I'm going for like a really natural look. I also find that when I'm going for a very natural look, I don't do much to the front of the brow. I kind of really like the look at the moment of like almost just like a faded, it just like kind of fades. So I do a little bit of definition on the bottom, a tiny bit on the top, and then I kind of just like brush it brush it together. When they are perfect shape they don't look so natural, especially not for me because to get them perfect shape like I have to do quite a lot of drawing. Um, so yeah, just try and keep it a bit unnatural. I'm also shaking loads today guys because I had a coffee this morning and then James made like an iced coffee because we had the, loads of these iced coffees in Greece and he was like I'm gonna try and make one that's similar to that. And then um, he was like, oh, it's so good. And then, obviously, I made him make me one. And so I've had two coffees in the space of, like, an hour. And so I'm shaking like a leaf. Okay, the next product I'm going to use is the Jaclyn Hill palette. Oh, my gosh, my palette is so, so, so vile. We won't even look at that. It's just a little bit straight up. Now, I don't know whether to be cheeky and be like, this is one product so I can use all the colours. Because I was basically just going to... Like, I used this colour as my highlighter. And obviously my third product was highlighter, so do I be cheeky? Okay, so we're going to stick to just the highlight, I'm not going to be too cheeky for now. So this is the colour of the highlight I use, and I use this Morphe, the, my dog literally chewed right where the number is for this brush, and it really annoys me every time. I honestly can't remember what number it is, I'm so sorry. I'm a brush, and I don't know why, but I just feel like highlight, like... I used to think of it as quite like a glam thing, but I feel like it really goes with like a very natural look. It's like that sort of natural glowy, no makeup vibe. And then because we've got like no um, concealer or anything, like I just bring it and uh, like just to lighten everywhere really around here. Then I'm going to use the same highlight with this Morphe M431 to highlight the inner corners, not too much, just, okay that is actually quite a lot but it looks cute. <laughs> and then I'm just going to take it up into the sort of inside and drag it out a bit, right there, and then use this flatter brush to spread that, so it's kind of like eyeshadow. And of course use the same highlight to go under the eyebrow, this is a very glowy glowy look because we pretty much just have highlighter to work with. <laughs> oh and of course add a bit to end of the nose, down the middle, on my lips. I feel like highlighter goes a long way. Just everywhere. Oh my gosh no, too much. Okay and the fourth product we have is a lip stain. Now I have been looking for a lip stain everywhere. I remember I had a lip stain when I was like in year seven or something when I was super like young and just getting into makeup my mum got me a lip stain um, from Benefit I remember being like oh my god Benefit lip stain because um, it's for your cheeks and your lips and it's it's like a liquid it's hard to see it but it's like a liquid like that rather than a paste or a matte or any like a lipstick it's it's literally a lip stain and look I've rubbed it off and it's like left a little stain it's literally almost like 
red wine when it stains a carpet. It's like meant to just stain your lip and cheek and stuff. What was I saying? I got it from the body shop. I got it the other day. Oh, let me just show you the bottle. So the bottle looks like that. And oh my gosh, my hands are shaking so much from the coffee. I'm like... <laughs> uh, I just put the tiniest amount on because um, it's quite strong. Not strong, but like colourful. Kind of just try and define the outer bit of my lip because I find that when I don't wear any makeup my lips can look really small because the outer bits just kind of like fade into my skin so and that's why I feel like when you've got sore lips it looks like your lips are really big because the outer bits are really defined but because the colour is quite rosy I'm just going to actually see if I can dab a little bit of highlight just to give it more of a uh, sort of ombre shimmer in the middle. I, I saw someone do this before. I don't think you meant to use the brush though. I think you meant to use your finger. <laughs> so it's quite like a, a bold, strong red by itself. So that's good. And then, oh my gosh, I need to spill it everywhere. Then we've got to do a small bit of cheek stain. I freaking love blusher. I don't have any bronzer for this look. So what I'm going to do actually, is I'm just going to pop the moisturizer a little bit more on the edges. Layer it to make it more full coverage. Okay, I think that actually did make a difference. Now I feel like my li my lips are looking a bit too pale and shiny. I'll just add a little bit more. Perfect. Oh yes, and the lip and the cheek even. Cheek colour. So I just add like a few dots. I keep my blusher quite close to my nose. I don't know why. I just do. kind of very holiday burnt cheeks and I'm actually just going to put a smidgen on my nose because we're going for that holiday glow. You can rub really hard and it doesn't kind of take off the foundation coverage because it's already like a moisturisery soft texture underneath. You can really kind of blend things in without it sort of going anywhere. Okay, I'm definitely feeling that. We've definitely got like a burnt burnt glow going on here. Okay, and the last thing I'm going to do is add some touch-ups with the eyebrow pencil. Now, you obviously don't have to do any of this because this is a bit more like you probably, some people will find this really weird and some people won't, but I'm going to add back some of my freckles. Now, I have freckles that come out in the sun and then when I want to do like a natural um, sort of no makeup makeup look, the freckles disappear and I actually really, really like my freckles. So, I'm gonna try and draw some of them back on, you know? Find some random freckles and then darken them a bit. But then I also like dab them out, otherwise they look too obvious. Okay, I must admit, I'm definitely not the best at um, drawing freckles on my face, that's for sure. I feel like people do a much better job at me than this. Um, I think my um, eyebrow pencil is just too kind of fat. It doesn't really get precise enough. Then I'm also going to add with this a little bit of under eye just to give my eye like just to make my eye stand out a bit with, without having to use mascara. So. And also because it's a colour that matches my eyebrows it's a lot less sort of fake looking. It's a lot less harsh. It kind of just looks like my hair, my eyelashes are like the same colour as my eyebrows and kind of just more prominent if you get me. Okay guys, so that is my no makeup makeup look. I have no idea um, whether you're going to have enjoyed this video or not, so please let me know below if you did enjoy the video. I'm a little bit nervous to post it just because it's such a random video, but I do feel like it was something that I wanted to share with you guys and it's a little bit different and so I hope you enjoyed it. The four products we used were the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturiser, the Jaclyn Hill Highlighter slash any highlighter would work, the W7 Eyebrow Pencil, $1.99, the Body Shop Lip Stain, so that's one, two, three, one, two, three, four. That's the four products. And then obviously you could have a fifth product and you could just add a little bit of mascara. I'll just add, so sometimes I will literally add mascara like literally that lightly. I mean that barely makes a difference but it just gives you a little bit of a lash lift. I feel like that's a very 
sort of natural makeup look that I've been wearing all the time lately, kind of like on holiday and just in the sun, in the heat. The tinted moisturiser I would recommend 150 billion percent. I love it so much. If you do enjoy vlogs and you'd like to see more of just like lifestyle vlogs and stuff, my couples channel and we will probably be um, increasing to around three times a week. We'll definitely be doing two times a week and then probably like leaving the third one a bit more relaxed but probably most probably doing a third one um, for the week. So that's me and my boyfriend and my puppy. We will be over there just kind of like living our best lives so we'd absolutely love to have you over there don't forget we might be going down to once a week we probably will be just uploading on Sundays now on this channel so I'll see you every Sunday at 11 a.m. UK time if I could leave you with one thing this week it would be to practice your self-love to practice more love to practice your confidence you're an amazing amazing human and you truly deserve to believe that you are enough hey I'm wearing my you are enough hoodie so I did start a little clothing brand with YAE it stands for you are enough I haven't released anything in a while and I do promise it is going to come in the future sometime soon. Um, but yes, you are enough. I want you to practice believing that. It's not as easy as just flicking on a switch and thinking, okay, cool, I'm enough. We've got to practice it. We've got to know it. We've got to believe it. Like, you're an amazing... You're an amazing living human and you are so worthy and you're so capable of doing what you want to do, being who you want to be and living the life you want to live. So I want you to practice that this week. Knowing that you are enough, knowing that you are so freaking worthy of everything and everything don't let anyone else's opinion I'm like really gripping my hand I'm so passionate <laughs> don't let people's opinions get you down you are yourself you are enough you are a human as you were born you are freaking worthy I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video bye guys mwah, mwah, mwah.